Once again, here in Genesis 44, we see that Joseph is giving his brothers an opportunity to reveal whether or not their hearts have softened and changed before the Lord, specifically in regards to how they act to a younger brother. You see, in this chapter today, you'll read about how Joseph gives this test of a silver cup that leads to Benjamin, the youngest brother, possibly having to stay with Joseph in Egypt and sending the brothers back without him. And the brothers know that this cannot happen, that this would break the heart of their father. And Judah steps up. And let me share with you something that Judah says here in Genesis chapter 44. He says to Joseph, please, my Lord, let me stay here as a slave instead of this boy and let the boy return with his brothers. For how can I return to my father if the boy is not with me? I couldn't bear to see the anguish this would cause my father. You know, it's interesting because when Judah and his brothers threw Joseph into the pit and sold him into slavery, they didn't seem to have this kind of care for their father and definitely not for Joseph, but their hearts changed. They cared for their brother. They cared for their father. And that's really what love is, placing the needs, the heart, the emotions, the well-being of another above your own. You see, that's what John knew. In 1 John chapter 3, he says this, We know what real love is because Jesus gave his life for us. So we also ought to give up our lives for our brothers and sisters. You see, here in 1 John chapter 3, verse 16, we're given great insight into how God wants us to live. It's that place that Judah finally reached there in Genesis, where he's willing to lay down his life for another. And aren't you so thankful that that's what Jesus has done for you and for me? Jesus freely gave his life for us. So today, may we freely give our lives to others. May today be about serving others, giving our best to others, preferring others, honoring others, because truly that's what Jesus has done for us. And that's what Judah found in Genesis chapter 44 today, to put the needs, the priorities of others before themselves. That's true maturity, true growth, and truly what it means to live like Christ.